We all need Canada's youth to succeed. We need youth to help design drones to put out forest fires and ensure artificial intelligence doesn't outsmart us all. We need youth to help cure the diseases we don't even know exist yet. We need new skills for a completely new job force. But we're not prepared. That's why RBC created Future Launch to empower Canadian youth for the jobs of tomorrow. Like people, businesses have their journey, their path, sometimes straight, but more often evolving, growing, and adapting. And like people, businesses' needs change, creating the need for knowledge in areas like accounting, consulting, and tax. Areas critical to your continued growth and success, all part of the journey, and all part of what we do together with you. So that when your business has arrived, it's ready to keep going. MNP, wherever business takes you. Welcome to Python's Pit. $100 will be spent on designing the logo and packaging. About $500 will be spent on sourcing our first manufacturer. Good on you for a great presentation. And uh, I'm just, I'm intrigued really. I, I, what, what inspired you to, to get into this kind of field? It's rather unique. There are other methods to sell your phone. You could always use Kijiji, but that would involve meeting an unknown person and figuring out a certain time and location that meets both of your schedules. We're here to completely revolutionize that method with Bymind. I do have a, actually a couple of smartphones lying around. Uh, various conditions of uh, disrepair, but what about the data that's on those smartphones? According to Stats Canada, nearly 50% of Canadians cycle. There are 540,000 people in the Halton region. Therefore, there are 250,000 cyclists that could get a flat tire, lose a pedal, and get stranded while it's out riding. I could use bike trip. Take it slow and be careful about hiring on any staff or incurring all kinds of costs. I mean, take your time and, and, and test it out and really get a good handle on the types of scenarios and make sure that your model is going to be able to make money. Fifty phone cases. That's fifty phone cases in a span of six months between three girls. What a waste. We have created a solution to an environmental problem that doesn't even need to exist. I was going to say, have you thought, is this something that you're going to patent? Have you put money aside so this is going to be an original patent that you're going to register and everything? I want you to imagine living in a world surrounded by emerging technologies like artificial intelligence and quantum computing. But you are limited to using a messenger pigeon as your only means of communication. It's very altruistic. I think it's phenomenal. You saw a, you know, a need and, and you made change, right? You're, you're being the change to actually provide a solution. On that, I mean, I, I applaud you. So can I have a show of hands to see how many of you ever forgot to check the weather in the morning before you got dressed, as, as a result, been either too warm or too cold out at your workplace? I can also personally relate to that problem. Imagine if there was a jacket that could automatically adjust to your body temperature no matter what the weather be outside. I would be looking or speaking <laughs> with, you know, you mentioned, I think it was Bed Bath & Beyond has Something, I mean, if they've got a patent or, or such on that technology, that might be something to, to include with them. I mean, you've got distribution through them, uh, channels as well. So it could be a partnership kind of idea in that regard, too. So we've all scrolled through social media, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, and we see these aesthetically pleasing, picture-perfect interior decor homes. And I know many people want to achieve that. In fact, one in three North American families are not pleased and not satisfied with the way their home looks in terms of interior decor. Thank you. 